All right, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Catholic and Lugs. And today we will be talking about conditional probability. So conditional probability. So conditional probability formula. Let A and B be two events in a sample space S. Then the prob conditional probability of B given that A has occurred is this one. So probability of B given A is equal to probability of A and B over probability of A. Again, the symbol for this one is read as the probability of B given A. So this is how to find the conditional probability. So therefore, it is being given the B before getting the probability of the second given that the probability of the first has been given or has been uh, coined or there is already a probability okay so let's talk about problem number one a box contains black chips and white chips a person selects two chips without replacement if the probability of selecting a black chip and a white chip is 15 over 56 and the probability of selecting a black chip when the first draw is 3 over 8. Find the probability of selecting the white chip given on the second draw. Chip on the second draw given that the first chip selected was a black chip. So the first is, let's have first the formula. So the formula is this. Okay. The probability of B given at A is equal to probability of this one, A and B over the probability of A. So let's find first what is the probability. Okay. In this case, this is the probability of uh, white. The selecting the probability of white and the second of given the first chip select it is black so therefore this is the probability of white and black over the probability of black rather okay so this one so let us first have what is the probability of white and black so the probability given is 15 over 56 and the probability of selecting a black shift on the first draw is 3 over 9 the probability of black is equal to 3 over 8 rather so this is probability of white and black over the probability of black is equal to 15 over 56 over 3 over 8 so by the use of calculator, 15 over 56 over 3 over 8, that is equal to 5 over 7. So this is the final answer that the probability of selecting the white chip on the given draw, given that the first chip selected was a black chip, is 5 over 7. Okay, so let's proceed now with problem number 2. In a group of kids, if one is selected at random, the probability that he or she likes oranges is 0.6. The probability that he or she likes oranges and apples is 0.3. If a kid who likes oranges is selected at random, what is the probability that she, he or she likes, she also likes apples? So first is the probability of, okay, Probability of apple given that there is already a probability of she likes oranges. So probability of apple and oranges over the probability of oranges. So first, what is the probability of apple? The probability of apple and oranges is, okay, one selected probability that are like oranges and the probability she likes oranges and apple he is 0 0.3 so therefore this is 0 0.3 over the probability of an oranges she like oranges is 0 0.6 so this is 0 0.6 
So this is 0 0.P over 0 0.6, that is 0 0.5. So the probability that she likes also likes apples, given that he the kid is the kid likes also oranges, is selected at random. That is 0 0.5. Next, we have here probability number three, problem number three. A group of 200 students were asked whether they played football or basketball. Among the group, 120 said they played, played football, 50 said they played basketball, and 20 said they played both football and basketball. What is the probability that a student selected at random of the group plays football given that he plays basketball? Okay, the first one is we need to find the probability that uh, he plays football given, okay, the first one is probability of football. So the probability of football, so is equal to how many among like 120 over that is equal to 200 over 200. Okay. That's equal to 200 is equal to 0 0.6. And take note, we need to have the probability of basketball. So the probability of basketball, so how many played basketball? We have 50. So 50 over 200, that is equal to 0 0.25. So in this case, we need to find the probability of football given that he plays basketball. So probability of football, given that he plays basketball, is equal to probability of football and basketball, given that the probability of basketball. Okay, so probability of both football and basketball. So we need to find the probability of football and basketball. So what is the probability that we could have football and basketball okay so we have here a group of 200 students so we have here there are 20 students let's find first the probability of football and basketball so they have here 20 over 200 that's equal to 0 0.1 so now by 20 because this is played both football and basketball. So therefore this is 0 0.1 over the basketball is 0 0.25. So this is 0 0.4. So this is a probability that the selected student a random group plays football given that he plays basketball. Next in line we have here what is the probability that a student that a student selected at random, no student or any, student selected at random from a group plays basketball given that he plays football. That students or that a student selected or student selected. What is the probability? So first we need to find a key probability of basketball given that he plays football. So therefore, probability of put basketball and football over probability of football. So what is the given here in the first instance or the first problem is the probability of basketball and football is 0 0.1 over the probability of football is 0 0.6. So 0 0.1 over 0 0.6 is equal to... Okay. That's equal to 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.6. That is equal to 0 0.17. 0 0.166 or 0. Point, let us have 0 0.17. Okay, next is what is the probability that a student selected, that a student selected at random from a group plays football given that he plays one game only. So we have here uh, the probability. The first thing that we need to find is the probability of football. We have already the probability of football. But we need to find that he plays one game only. 
Okay, by the use of Venn diagram, we could easily uh, find the number that he, one who plays one game only. So this one is both played. And of course, there are 120 here. And this one is 50. Since there is an intersection or the common between the two, but using the Venn diagram, so we could say that the one who played football is only 100 because we are going to deduct 120 minus the intersection is, is equal to 100 and also 50 minus 20 that is equal to 30 so this one 30 so therefore the one who played basketball and played only one game is 130 so this is 130 so we have to compute the probability of football given that only one game. So O, so probability of only one game, so probability of football and one game over the probability of only one game. So first is we need to find here probability of football and one game so let's check if probability of football and one game okay so how many have probability of football and one game so the probability of football and one game is equal to 100 Oh no, here. Probability of football and one game is equal to 100 over 200 is equal to 0 0.5. Okay, football and only one game. And one game. So therefore, this is 100 over 200 because this is football over one only one game so there's 0 0.5 see this football here we computed here the only one game 0 0.5 and the probability of one game so the probability of one game is probability of one game is equal to 130 over 200 so therefore this is 0.65 so therefore the probability of this one okay so let's erase this the probability of football in one game is 0 0.5 over one game is 0 0.65 so we have here 0 0.5 over 0.65 the answer is 0.77 or 69 or 77. This is 0 0.77. So that's it on the problem number three. So try this at home. Two companies A and B are offering 70 and 50 products respectively. Companies offering 40 software products and 30 hardware products. Company B is offering X hardware products and why software products to be determined. If a product is selected at random, what is the probability that this product is a hardware product given that it is from company B in terms of why? This product is a hardware product given that it is from company A and for what values Y will be the probability in part A be greater than the probability in part B. So try to answer this one at home and God bless comment your names or sections or comment your answers here to prove that you are watching the video. Thank you and God bless everyone for watching Casaligan Vlogs.